our journey to Great Britain. We, students of the Conversation Lab in the Animal Sonntagberg, worked on our project Britain for several lessons. We did some practical work and created our 3D model of the British Isles, which you can see here. But we proudly present our work on language skills too. Besides, we increased our geographical knowledge on the area. All group members work on two topics, and so we created an informational journey for you as a tourist in Britain. Just relax. Watch and listen now. We're sure you will fancy the trip with us. Cornwall has about 500,000 people. 
The area is noted for its wild mineral landscapes and the natural beauty. It's got famous in many films. <laughs> now we want to go on to Lands End. Lands End is a popular holiday place in Western Cornwall. It is the most western point of Cornwall and England. That is why it is often called the first and last point of the British Isles. It is a half island and it is about 13 kilometers southwest of Penzance. Lands End is an information point for tourists. There are two kinds of planet represented in Lands End. I will tell you about Dover now. Dover is a town and major ferry port in the southeast England. You arrive here from the European continent by ferry. Traveling by ferry from Calais to Dover is the shortest way of water to the UK. Uh, the town is along the British Chalk Coast, uh, the white rocks which are well known all around the world. Once it was reported that the town had a population of almost 10,000 people. Today there are many schools, so it's a special place for education. The town's many main shopping streets are high streets and banking streets. Now we are in Cotswolds. The Cotswolds are an area in the south central England. It is an area of outstanding natural beauty. It is characterized by attractive small towns and villages built of the Cotswold stone. The Cotswold town of Chipping Campen is notable for being the home of arts and crafts movement in the last century. The name Cotswold is popularly attributed to the meaning sheep enclosure in rolling hillsides. This is a fence for sheep. The area of the Cotswolds runs southwest to northeast through six counties. The next stop on our journey is York. York is a city in the north of England. It was built in the Middle Ages. The town is along the River Ass, which is in a flat valley. York was often feared but has a protection system now. York is famous for being an old fashioned giant city. In York there are many places of interest, like Clearford Star, York Minster, museums and half timbered houses. Let's hop to Liverpool. Liverpool is a city in England in the county Merseyside. The city is also home to the oldest black African community in the country and the oldest Chinese community in Europe. Liverpool's temperature is like much of the British Isles, which are cool summers and mild winters. Liverpool is also the home of two Premier League football clubs, Liverpool and Everton. Matches between the two clubs are known as the Merseyside Derby. The world famous Grand National Horse Race also takes place annually at entry race course on the outskirts of the city. The Beatles first met in Liverpool. They were an English rock band that became the most successful act in the 20th century. The next stop on our journey is Manchester. Manchester is a city in England with a large population. The Bridgewater Canal was built to, to, to transport coal triggered in the early 19th century factory building boom. It transformed Manchester from a township into a major town. Manchester Town Hall and the Manchester Ship Canal were built in that time. Then it was the longest river canal in the world, linking the city to the sea. Manchester's port use decreased after the Second World War due to deindustrialization. However, investment got changed by the 1996 Manchester bombing, which was the most famous terrorist attack in Europe. That led to economic regeneration, which continues to this day. The 
next stop in our journey is Lake District. Lake District, also known as the Lakes or Lakeland, is a mountainous region in northwest England. It is famous for its lakes, forests and mountains. It contains the deepest and longest lakes in England, which are Lake Westwater and Lake Windermere. The area is the most visited national park in the United Kingdom. The lakes and mountains combine to form impressive scenery. Most of the land in the park is in private ownership. Lake District is, the, is one of the most highly populated national parks. We are in Oxford now. Oxford is just a short hop away from London. Oxford is famous for its own university. The University of Oxford is one of the leading universities in the world. But Oxford has got a lot more to offer. Nowadays the city is a modern town. Oxford is the home to a growing community. Many businesses are located in the town. There are signs and business parks and areas for living. With its mix ancient and modern, it's interesting for people who live there. You can visit history buildings, colleges or museums, going out for a drink or go shopping. Oxford has it all. The next stage on our journey is Hebron's War. It's located between Scotland and the north of England. Hadrian's Wall was a defensive, defensive fortification in the Roman province of Britannia. Its gates serve as customer's post. A part of the wall still exists and can be followed on foot along the Hadrian's Wall Path. That's why it's very famous for tourists from all over the world, because it's good for walking and having a perfect view. It is the most popular tourist attraction in northern England and was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I want to talk about the Pennines now. The Pennines are a range of mountains and hills separating northwest England from Yorkshire and northeast England. The region is widely considered to be one of the most scenic areas of the United Kingdom. The Pennine climate is generally temperate like in the rest of England but the hills have stronger winds and colder weather than the surrounding areas. The northwest is amongst the wettest region of England and much of rain falls on the Pennines. The Pennine region is sparsely populated by English standards. Bath. Bath is a city in southwest England. It is famous for, for its warm and healing water. The Romans started using these springs. The city became a spa with the Latin name Aqua Solis. Bath became a World Heritage Site. The city has two universities. It is a center for information and communication, technology and creative industries. Stonehenge is a monument located in South England, about two miles north of Salisbury. Stonehenge is one of the most famous historic sites in the world. It was built in the Neolithic and Bronze Age. Archaeologists believe it was built anywhere from 3000 to 2000 BC. The site was added to the UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. It could have been a burial ground or a place for religious worship. Fishkart and Lower Fishkart. 
It is a typical fishing village with beautiful boats in the harbour. The main town contains of a church, a shopping mall and a city centre. Goodwick became the twin town of this city in the 20th century. Now we are in Swansea. Swansea is a coastal city and county in Wales. It's Wales' second largest city. Situated on the center south west Wales coast, the county area includes the Gara Peninsula and the Little Uplands. The city and county of Swansea have a population of about 200,000, making it the second largest city after Cardiff. During the 19th century, Swansea was a key center of copper industry, earning the nickname Copperopolis. <laughs> mountain in the British Isles. It reaches 1,344 meters height above sea level. The mountain is a popular dentist station attracting about 100,000 visitors a year. The first person who reached the top of Ben Nevis was James Robertson on August 17, 70, 17, The Ben Nevis is a good location in the UK for ice climbing. The summit is the collapsed dam of an ancient volcano. We are in Edinburgh now. Edinburgh has been the capital of Scotland since the 15th century. It's a very popular city in, uh, in Scotland and the seventh most popular city in the United Kingdom. Edinburgh's old town with the Royal, Royal Mile and Edinburgh are listed as an UNESCO World Heritage. The city has long been known abroad as a center of education, medicine and science. The city is also famous for the Edinburgh International Festival. It's a very popular tourist destination in the United Kingdom, attracting over 1 million visitors each year.
The next stop is the Cholok Roads. The town takes its name from Chan the Road. It's a small village in the highlands of Scotland. Cholok Roads has a population of about 300 people. It's often called the start of Great Britain as it is located in the very far north. This village is popular with tourists who visit Scotland all across the world. Cholok Roads is home of two football clubs, Cholok Roads and Cholok Roads Juniors, although it's a small place. Let's go to the next stop. It's Glasgow. Glasgow is the largest city in Scotland and the third largest in the United Kingdom. Glasgow is located on the banks of the River Clyde in West Central Scotland. The winters in Glasgow are very cool. Since 2000, the winters are very freezing. The summers are very hot. The city centre is bounded by the High Street, the River Clyde and the MA motorway which was which was built in the 1960s. The Church of Scotland and the Roman Catholic Church are the two confession churches in the town. Glasgow has the largest economy with industry and university. Now we are in St Andrews. St Andrews is a small town along on the east coast of Scotland. It's named after St Andrew the Apostle. The town is home to the University of St. Andrews, the third oldest university in the English-speaking world. This is where the future king, who is Prince William, nowadays finished his studies. It was founded 1413. St. Andrews is known as the home of gold worldwide. <laughs>
Hauptstadt stoppt und du bist. Be aware, kids on work!